Up next, making part holders for painting. Hey everybody, it's Kenny Conklin from SciFiAnesty.com and welcome to another kind of tips and tricks video. Today we're going to take a look and see how to build the paint sticks, paint holder sticks, piece sticks, whatever you want to call them. These are the parts. We're going to show you what you need and I know you can buy them online but they're quite cheap if you do them yourself and they're easy. Some people may have seen them and be like, hey, where do you get those things? Most people just make them themselves. So thank you everybody that's been coming over to the channel and subscribing and hitting the little icon. And I'm also working on the site again because I was moving everything over trying to get the site faster. I just got to move the articles over now. So the community should be up and running again tomorrow if you want to come over there and take a look. But enough about that, let's get over to the bench and check out what we need. Okay, so this is what you're going to need for this do-it-yourself project. You'll need alligator clips, which I got a hundred of them from Amazon for, I think it was $11. I'll put the link in the description for those. Skewers, which you can pick up at the supermarket. Either a piece of styrofoam or two by four. That's the last part you need, and that's just to shove the sticks in. We'll show you that later Flats or something to crimp down the alligator clips and either cutters or a little razor saw to cut the points off of the skewers themselves so let's start to work on a couple of these and i'll show you okay the project is very simple all you'll need is the alligator clip head the skewer and either the razor saw or the nippers nippers are usually easier to cut through you just boom that thing goes flying off and you got a flat piece then what you do is you put the little stick in here and you shove them in as far as you can. And it's not tightened down yet, but when you shove them in as far as you can, it doesn't impede you doing that with that, with the top half and the bottom half opening and closing it. Then the next thing you would need is a pair of flats and you're gonna just crush down the piece, make it flat, and then your stick can't come out. If you feel it's a little loose, just add a little more pressure and it'll flatten it out and it'll dig right into the stick and that's going nowhere. And then you got yourself a nice little stick to put your piece on and paint and then let it dry. Okay, and then with the two by four, you just drill some holes a little bigger diameter than the stick itself. Mine are a little tight and you can just shove that guy in there and he'll stay. You can either paint on there or you can just use it for letting your pieces dry after you paint them up. The other thing that you can use is the brick of styrofoam. You can pick these up at Michael's or any other craft store like that and they're easy. You just shove that guy in there and he's going to stay and you, your thing's going to dry or you can paint on there. The only bad thing about these is they don't last as long as the wood. The wood's going to last forever and you're just gonna be poking holes in here like crazy. But they do work, and you can throw a ton of things on here at one time. So that's pretty much it for this. Well, thanks again for stopping by and taking a look at a quick video on how to do another little item. This way it helps you out with either handling your parts, painting your parts, letting your parts dry. They do come in handy, and you can actually cut down the sticks to length if you want them different sizes and put them in different places on your holder. Thank you again, everybody that's been coming and subscribing. I think we're only two away from 900 now, so that means only 102 until we hit 1,000, and then we'll have the giveaway. So come and subscribe. Hit the little subscribe button there and the little icon, and don't forget to watch all of our videos if you get a chance. We thank you guys for coming as always. We really do appreciate it, even though I goof around a little bit. So I hope you all have a great night. Take care, and bye-bye.